All right, guys, I am back and we are still in the various stages of doneness with these covers. For right now, this one is done. Um, I will um, we'll come back to it because this one will have a tassel. So we'll come back to it and um, see what else we might want to add or that sort of thing. And remember, these are the ones with the uh, big pockets up in here. So yeah, I'm loving that one. I'm going to call that one done for now. This one, we still need to do something here um, to close those up and a closure idea for it. And I am 99% sure what I want to do on the closure. So we'll work on that one in this video. And then um, this one, I'm going to um, do a couple of different things, but I want to test something first. Um, I believe that I got these little, um, they're kind of like little clay flowers, I think. I think I got them from Emily's shop at um, Junk Journal Inspirations. I got them a while ago. So, but what I want to do, and I'm not quite sure how to accomplish it, is um, you, we were telling you the story about how in um, Alice in Wonderland, they had, uh, they were painting the roses red. And so I had an idea to kind of incorporate all of that. And the Sharpie's not really working, so... I brought some paint along, so I'm using one of these to test on just to see what we might get out of it. Um, and this might be too big, but anyways, I brought some red paint, so we're just gonna we're just gonna have a little bit of a play. Looks like this one's getting a little chunky, and I probably have it all over my fingers now. Oh no, I don't. That's interesting. Nope, oh, it's gonna take require a little bit more shaking. Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. And again, I have no idea what day you're seeing these. Um, so I think this will make Gracie happy too with this journal. And then I'll have to pause the video here in a few minutes um, just to uh, um, get my uh, eyelets out. For the closure on that other one. Okay. So I was thinking what would happen if we started just kind of painting some of the tips of these, if it would have the same effect as was in the book. We just painted a few of the little tips. <clears throat> kind of just make it a little bit more. I think Gracie will get a kick out of that. And I just remembered I had these this morning, so I should be cleaning, but as you can tell, I have other things in my mind. <laughs> Christian's over there doing some of his work. Ha, huh, sweetheart. I think Gracie's going to get a kick out of this. Christian, were you here when she was trying to tell us about like the painted rose? If you're not like incredibly busy at this second, come see what I'm doing. Okay. And I'll add just a little bit more around that edge. Okay, and now this one I'm just going to do like kind of some of the tips of the well as well. And I'll leave that other one kind of white. Oh, 
Oh, thank goodness. What do you think, guys? You can win white rose. Do we like it better this way? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to leave that just how it is, and we're going to let that paint dry really quick, and then we'll get those glued on. Okay, talk amongst yourselves for a second while I go grab that other bin of eyelids. Oh, oh my goodness, I think I'm going to start sneezing again. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Do I still? Oh, I probably still have the eyelet basket out, huh? Ah, yep, there it is. It's up here. All right. Um, let's set these aside. We can use that one we just painted on a different project, or not different project, but a project within this one. Yeah, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, so somebody sent these to me a long time ago, and I have never used them, but I'm going to now because I have an idea. Um, but first, um, I think um, I'm going to make a divot here for the pocket, or do we want lace? What do we want, guys? Let's just see how some lace would look there. If I have any handy. Probably not this specific one, but this would give us an idea. Um, I think I'm going to go with my first idea. <clears throat> I'm going to put a divot in there and we're going to add some uh, this stuff, <laughs> some ink. And um, that this particular one is uh, um, walnut stain. There we go. I know when I used on the the front cover the black soot. So, or no, I used. What did I use? I used something to kind of grungy it up. I don't remember what color that was though. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, um, gosh, I, my train of thought is kind of off today. Like, I know what I'm doing, but my words and my thoughts aren't matching. Um, clamp it down, that's what I meant to say. I'm just gluing each end. And then... <clears throat> And push it, squeeze out any glue. This one. I think out of all of them, this one's probably my favorite cover. I think this one fits my personality the most. I like the other two, but this one I think fits me better. And I have no idea what the original intent is with those, um, this closure that I'm gonna do. Um, 
So if you guys know, feel free to put it in the comment section. Um, I've never used one, but I got like three or four of them, maybe even a few more, um, from a subscriber a couple years ago. So we'll just kind of see what happens. And if we love it, then we'll uh, do a couple more of them throughout the year. Excuse me, my goodness. Yeah, I think heading into this weekend, I need to do quite a bit of um, of. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go in quite a bit further than I think I need to. Um, paper dyeing. Oh my goodness, do I ever. Back cover, okay. Okay. So then, this is going to go through, oh, and I probably should have made sure it went through before I did all that, huh? Hmm. Well, sorry for the jostle, guys. We're going to just make it fit. Hopefully this doesn't ruin, like, do, like, ruin the integrity of this. <laughs> Did any of you guys just see what I was doing? So right now what I'm doing is just kind of crimping it more, you know, once you have it in the, the actual pliers, you know. Okay, so I need to go down here a little bit more. What I'm trying to do is uh, get it squished up in there. I can't get this. I bet you Christian will have a good, a good idea for it. He's kind of good at that stuff. Or, or. I would say one of the things I really like to say, but um, I don't know if people get offended when I say it. So there is always one more, one more than one way to skin a cat, and that is how you do it. <laughs> oh my goodness! If you stayed through all of that um, uh, shenanery. Thank you. A bunch of these are probably pretty good. Oh, he is going to get a kick out of that one. Mm -hmm. I don't think he realized how special his girlfriend is. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> by a show of hands in the comments how many of you were like why don't you just stick the other end in <laughs> oh man okay so this will be the closure so I'm guessing I'm wishing now that I had put it in a little bit further like I had originally thought to um maybe it'll it'll probably change once it once there's actually like papers and pockets in there Oh my gosh, that is super cute. Ooh, I like it. Okay. And then, you know, we could, we could, like, go back through and put a couple of little roses on these, because I've got quite a few. I think that might be good use of a uh, crafting supply there. All right. Yeah, 
I am wishing I had put. And you know what? We may end up doing is I may end up doing two holes just almost for aesthetics and putting another one here and then I'll weave it. Um, I'm not sure how, but I would weave it and then, then do it that way. Okay. All right. So for, um, I'm going to leave this open because I think I may either want to trim down, glue it down or add a little something more through here. Um, it's kind of what I was thinking. Um, and actually like I can kind of show you what I was thinking, but I want to see how the inside turns out first. If we're super frilly on the inside, then I won't put this on the outside, but I was thinking about possibly lining, um, the lace with like fringe here. It's a thought and I haven't made up my mind yet, so for now we're going to call this journal cover done and as we fill it if we feel like we need to add that secondary hole and then just kind of like feed it back through and up around then we'll do that um but i think that one was a success if you're going to do this you have those to hand i would definitely set it in as far as possible that would be that would be my suggestion is to move it in further than what i have it so, okay. All right. That's that one. Let's see if we can get this one um, as finished as I'm going to make it right now. Um, because again, I don't know how the inside of this journal is going to come together. And if it ends up being really frilly, then I want to put like doilies and things like that on here. But I want the inside of the journal to finish dictating what happens on the cover. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just stick these down. And I'm going to go with the Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac and let's just hope that that works. If it doesn't, I'll plug in my hot glue gun. I'm so glad I found these. So cute. I hope you guys can kind of see that. I was actually just thinking to kind of give you an idea of what I'm thinking. But again, I want that inside to kind of dictate some of that in here. So what I'm thinking is kind of making lots of little little things and maybe we'll put like one of the teacups um, that's like this down in here and just kind of build out this way. But again, I kind of want to just see how that inside turns out. If it's not as frilly and, and full, then maybe we'll tone it down on the cover just a little bit to kind of keep it um, mixed well together. All right, guys, so I'm going to call this like the end of the cover part of the series. And then we will, um, I might do like one of the coffee dyeing um, videos with some stencils and stuff like that. Um, if it's something you're interested in and you don't see it right now, um, I do have um, the concept recorded back in September when we were dyeing papers for the challenge. Um, so I think if you were probably just to YouTube search it, um, coffee dye, um, or do the three and 15, uh, don't freak out before Christmas 2022. It should come up in that and I think I might actually have it in the playlist unfortunately I haven't went back and put all the videos in the playlist I will get that done at some point but um yeah that's that it's the same thing as what I'm gonna do with my stencils so yeah hope you guys are all doing well and we will just see you in the next video bye guys